Hey guys, it's Yishan here. Um, back at it with another video, and today I wanted to talk about a new rank eight Xyz monster from Battles of Chaos. Now, whenever a new rank eight Xyz monster is released, I get very interested because I'm a Grand Maju player, and even though Konami did me dirty on the ban list, I still want to play the deck, and I'm always looking for new cards. Um, but this is a rank eight monster from Battles of Chaos called the Zombie Vampire. Now, Battles of Chaos has a lot of cool cards in it. It's got the Fluandry spell, got this Dino Rufia cards or whatever, lots of really, really interesting stuff. But one card that has sort of slipped under the radar is the Zombie Vampire. And it is a rank eight monster. I'm gonna sort of show you what I see in this card, what potential I see, because it's a really, I would say a pretty big boost to rank eight strategies. Um, and there's a couple of reasons why I think that is the case. Um, so let's talk about the card. So the Zombie Vampire is a rank 8 Dark Xyz monster. Okay, it's got 3,000 attack. And basically, it takes two plus level 8 monsters. So you can use two or more. Um, I don't know if you'd ever use more than two, except for maybe Zeus ideas. But okay. Um, and its first line of text is really interesting. If you use a monster with a level... That is owned by your opponent for the XC summon of this card, treat it as level 8. And then, okay, that's really interesting. So, you can use basically anything that your opponent owns if you're able to take control of it, as long as it's not a Link or an Xyz. Or, yeah, Link or Xyz. And then neither player can target this card with card effects of special summon monsters, except those special summon from the graveyard. I guess that's some zombie thing might come up, but unlikely, right? Maybe a fairy tale Snow counter? I don't know. Um... And then you can detach one material from this card. Each player sends the top four cards of their deck to the graveyard, and if any monsters were sent to either graveyard by this effect, you can special summon one of them. And you can only use this effect once per turn. Okay, so, interesting. The most important line of text that I see in this card is the if you use your opponent's monster, right? That opens up a lot of interesting sort of tech ideas mainly being what i see most often or most viable i guess is mind control a card called mind control now this card's limited to one and if it was like unlimited like it used to be i'd definitely be more i'd be more like wow you should really keep your eye on this card but you can basically mind control anything now and you can always use it as a exceeds material at the end of the day. So that is is very, very huge, honestly. It sort of makes mind control almost a no-brainer in a rank A deck if you if you have the space for this card. Okay, also, a couple of things I noticed. It's good with cards like Gizmek Orochi, which is really, really good because it can mill it to the graveyard. It's good with cards like Fairy Tale Snow as well, right? Because um, you know, it can you know, mill that to the graveyard. So it gives you fuel as well if you have one in your graveyard. Um, so really, really interesting. Also, you know, there's a lot of opportunities or a lot of times where you could use cards like Triple Tactics Talent or Monster Reborn or uh, the new Dark Charmer that comes out from Battles of Chaos. All these cards have potential to be used with this and it can do a ton of damage. And if you're playing Grand Maj, you can mill four, maybe mill Gren. You know, I can imagine you make this with Gizmek. You detach the Gizmek. Mill four, special summon something back, summon a Gizmek. I mean, it's a lot, a lot of damage, right? So, really interesting. It also is dark for the Spider Xyz monsters. That is um, the Pain Gainer and the Seven Sins. Um, so, it can be really good for Zeus stacking, really good to use with mind control um, and cards like that. So, that's sort of what I think about this card. That's the sort of the potential I see in this card. Another interesting note, if you mill a card that your opponent controls because the one of the annoying things that it mills your opponent's cards um which can be sometimes good but most of the times bad if they have an effect that triggers in the graveyard that you don't want to happen you can actually just special summon that monster back because it won't have a chance to hit the graveyard um by, by rule um because it needs to be in the graveyard for its effect to activate and you get to special summon it back before that even has a chance so that is sort of that right that but that's all i really have for this card it's it's pretty under the radar i think it'll be really really good for these rank eight decks it's something that can just do a lot of damage and be utilized with a card like mind control um and and, and that that nature of of things so a pretty interesting card by all means definitely keep it in mind for your rank eight decks um you know if you take your opponent's stuff or if they give some random stuff to you you know you can use it 
Um, so, you know, maybe in the future, if there's like a bunch of like, you know, retaliating C or something like that, you know, or just some crazy contact C, you know, you can, you can use it into something like that. So just a thought, um, this card's really interesting. I think it's got some potential for sure. Um, especially if you've got a lot of stuff that you want to mill, um, depending on the rank eight deck you're playing. Um, but that is all I have for you guys today. Definitely check out this card, the zombie vampire. Let me know what you guys think of this card in the description below. I personally think it's very fascinating, um, but if you have any sort of other combos or ideas for it, uh, I'd love to hear from you. If you enjoy my content, please consider subscribing. Um, other than that, guys, hope you guys have a nice day. Oh, one reminder can be used with kaijus your opponent gives you. So, I mean, if they give you a non-level 8 kaiju, you can use it. But <laughs> I guess, you know, I'm just rambling off. There's a lot of random use cases for this card is my point. So, yep, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video. Subscribe, like, all that stuff, and I will see you guys in the next one. All right, peace.